Right, masking tape. Now, this is something I want to talk about today because, as daft as it sounds, it's actually quite important because you've got to make sure that you've got it to the right kind of uh, stickiness, so to speak, before you put it onto your paper. Some masking tape, for example, that one there, that's, um, I don't know which one that one is, that's Fix Man. There's a variety of different ones on the market. You've got the Blue Artist masking tape as well, so you've got all sorts here. There's all different colours. There's a Harris one, which is a decorating tape. And this is also a decorating tape. So there's a variety of different ones on the market, but I've got loads here as you can see. One thing I want to mention with this is that when you get the tape off the roll, when you find the end, I always have that problem, do you? Do you have that same problem? Have a look at the masking tape. Now this is quite tacky stuff, so what I tend to do, I'll take a strip of it, I don't take it off the roll just yet. And just if I've got a pair of trousers on, as long as it's not too fluffy like a pair of jeans, something like that. I'll take it across my trousers, it's great for defluffing really, it really is. Just to take a little bit of tack off it first, then I can lay it onto the paper, you know, and then stick down the paper underneath. So for example, if I'm gonna add on, I don't know, just tear some of this off. You can just cut it obviously, or you can just tear it. Entirely your choice. I would normally put the masking tape on. You can see where I've gone on there. Probably about a quarter of an inch, something like that, onto the paper. That's all I would normally do, but it's got to be enough because the thing is if you just go around this and just have it just nicked onto the corner of the paper, when you completely lay that with water, just a big wash of water, the paper will cockle, so it will bend and twist. When that happens, it can also pull away from the tape underneath. So just go back to the other one in a minute. When you look at these I've already got on here, you can see I've gone just over the edge with the masking tape. And also you find as out when you take the masking tape off, the one that's most likely going to tear the paper is the one which is where your hand is. So when you've got your hand on that masking tape all the time, that's been well stuck down on that paper. When you take the masking tape off, you'll take it off away from the picture and not towards the picture, okay? Or away from the painting, not towards the painting, you know what I mean? So if you do it that way around, you will find if it does tear the paper, it could tear away from your picture. So that will give you some general idea on the basics about masking tape. Okay, put that back down. Right, so if you've got any comments, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. And you know, what kind of masking tape do you use? I'd like to kind of find out. There's so many different varieties on the on the market, even down to the washi tape. I know there's there's another one. I've actually ordered some of that from China, so we'll see how that goes when uh, when we get it, okay? And I'll even do a little demo on that one as well. So until next time around, bye-bye for now. If you'd like to see more watercolour painting tips, head to patreon.com forward slash the Devon Artist and you'll see my full list of step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to paint wildlife in watercolour. Where you get also the project photo, the outline drawing for that month's project as well, and even a step-by-step -step handwritten or hand-typed by me full PDF on that particular current month's project. So come and join me and let's get painting together. And don't forget to click on like, subscribe and share. And please leave a comment down below as well. I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts and find out what you've been up to on your painting ventures. So until next time, bye bye for now.